Revelation 22.19 says, And if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part from the book of life, from the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. So a listener in Missouri wonders about the meaning of this passage. Now, no child of God would take anything away from the word of God knowingly at all. But he is saying here that if anyone did that, they can be sure of one thing, and he's making a contrast between books. If you take something out of this book, God says, I'm going to take something out of the book of life. And that is, I take your name out, which would indicate to me the name was not there at all. It's a question today, and I've enlarged on this in form of broadcast. There are two books of life, as I see it. One book of life is that natural book that you and I get in, the human family. We are recorded. God knows who we are and where we are. He remembers it. I was talking to a party not long ago that was absent from a meeting, and this party is a very sensitive person, and I said, my, we missed you at the meeting. And the party made the statement, I didn't think anyone would notice that I was not there. And they seemed to appreciate the fact that somebody did notice. Well, no human being may take notice whether you are there or not, but God does take notice. You're a human being and you're in a book. Now, I think that there is another book, the Lamb's Book of Life, that you're in. And the Lord Jesus actually threatens, I think, here any individual. He said, I'll absolutely rub you out. In other words, he's saying to them that you're absolutely eternally lost. And I interpret this to reveal the seriousness that there is in tampering with the Word of God. And again, may I say, that's one of the reasons that I don't buy all these new translations, because I think a great deal is not done for the worthy motive of really trying to find out what God has said. And they're being turned out too fast to begin with. I think it ought to take years of study. And men of maturity are the ones that should do it. I don't think any man under 50 years old should be a translator. I think that wisdom is something that goes along with knowledge, and wisdom comes with maturity. There are many things that can be said about this, and this passage reveals the seriousness of tampering 